Only watch this video if you want to get a job and you want to make money this year. That's it. Let's get started. Let me ask you this. Why do you want to become a developer? Why you want to get started in this industry? Why do you want to find a job? Okay. That's the question you want to ask yourself. And most of the time, what you're going to find is there's three answers to this. Number one, you want to switch careers. Number two is going to be you want to make more money or be in a career where in the long term you can make more money. Or three, you want to work remotely. Guess what? Those are the three things that you need to be focusing on when you are looking for a job. And I'm focusing on finding your first job, not somebody has been doing this for 10 years. You got 10 years in the industry. You should know how this works. But for those of you guys that are beginners and are just getting into this career, you need to focus on those main things. Can I work remotely? Is it a new career? And can I make more money? now or in the long term from this career, right? If you can find a good job with those three things, then you are on the right path because that's what most of you guys want. Now, what if I told you there's two paths that you can actually take? You can take the shorter way, which can help you land a job, or you could take the longer way, which you could find a job God knows when. Which one would you pick? If I was to just tell you that, I'm pretty sure you guys would choose the shorter way, right? I mean, that's the most logical thing to choose. But guess what? Most people are choosing the long way, <laughs> okay? So this right here is a React developer job, okay? Now, at least this company is being honest and saying, hey, we're looking for a senior web developer. But guess what? Most companies that are hiring for React developers they're actually looking for people who have experience. They might not say it on the title, right? You might not go in and find where it says senior on a job, right? Or, you know, software engineer level one, right? You might not find that, but at least this company's honest. Most companies are looking for people with experience. And the process for you to get this job is you're going to have to learn a whole bunch of skills to be able to qualify for this job. Then on top of that, you basically got to go through the hunger games. Okay. Everyone is learning the same skill and everyone wants to get this high paying job, $120, $130,000 or more, right? Everyone wants that. But guess what? If you are a beginner, you are at a disadvantage because the guys that already have two, three years that have been working, they also want this salary, right? And they also want this job. So you as a beginner trying to tackle getting this job, you're making your life more difficult. This is the long way, okay? Not only is it long because the amount of skills that you're going to have to learn, so this could take you easily a year to learn everything about React to be able to even qualify for a job, but then from there, even finding an opportunity could take you another six to nine months to find a job. This is the facts. This is where we at right now in 2025. Now, let me give you guys another look at another job, right? This right here is an associate web producer. They're willing to pay you $93 to $102,000. Now, compare this one, right? $120,000, like I told you, the amount of experience that you're going to need, the amount of work, the interview process, you're probably going to have to do, you know, algorithm questions on, on the interview. There's a million things that you got to go through just to get this one job, okay? <laughs> so again, that's the long way. This is the easier route. Look at this, associate web producer, all right? What exactly is it that you're doing, okay? It's very simple. Website maintenance, okay? Oversee, as usual, updates on the marketing website, ensuring content accuracy, right? Your job is to basically manage a website, manage the content on a website. Again, I mean, look at this. Remember all the skills that you need for you to get a React job. Remember, you're already at a disadvantage as a junior developer, as somebody who's trying to get into the industry. You're already at a disadvantage because those jobs, most people want it, okay? Now, you look at something like this, and this should already tell you everything. Basic understanding of web technologies, CMS platforms, HTML, CSS, it's a plus. 
This isn't like, hey guys, <laughs> you gotta be a genius. You're solving the, the cure of cancer. Nah, we just want you to be able to maintain this website, manage it. And this is just one company. This is Contentful, right? There's about 50,000 jobs that constantly get posted for managing websites. And you don't have to be a genius to do these jobs. And most of you guys are overqualified because y'all have taken so many courses and so many different things and you still don't have a job, but you're missing out on these type of jobs because you just don't know how to use a CMS system. Or maybe you just don't know how to build a portfolio that's gonna help you land a job like this. Maybe someone told you that, hey, if you work at something that is not uh, full stack development or front end development or the title software engineer, you can never be a software engineer or a full stack developer. I don't know who told you guys this, but they're wrong. There's thousands of jobs posted every single month for these type of jobs. And the people that are taking these jobs, most of the time, they're not even like technical people. Like they don't even know how to code. Like this is just like a, a dude with a journalism degree that he can't even find a job somewhere else. And then he goes in, well, I know how to read and write in English and I could go in and go in and apply to this job. And a lot of times they get these jobs. And you over here overqualified and you can't even find a job. Ain't that some shit? Now, my question to you guys is, how long are you going to stay out here without a job? How long are you going to be working on that job that you hate? How long are you going to continue being on this waiting list until someone sees you, until someone goes in and finds potential in you and says, hey, little guy. We see potential in you. We're going to give you a job. How long are you going to be out here waiting for that? Okay. You have to take action. You have to go in and say, well, how do I get to start working at these companies? How do I go in and put money in my pocket for the skills that I train myself, right? Or the skills that I'm about to get. How do I go in and put the shit to work? It's time. It's up to you if you want to do it or not, right? Now, again, I've been doing this for seven years, helping people get into the tech industry with alternative ways. And that's the advantage that most of my students have. It's that we're not focusing on what everybody's focusing on because they can't stand out like that. You have to go and find different ways for you to stand out and that people notice you, okay? Guess what? It's so much better when you show up to a job and you say, yeah, I got a year working at Contentful, which is a CMS platform. They basically do hella CMS. I managed their website. I was an associate web producer. I worked with React. I actually worked on the front end a couple of times with them, right? It was a great experience. You see the difference? That's much better than you showing up and be like, please, somebody give me a job. Please, I got a year and a half and I can't find a job. Please, somebody look at me. It's a big difference. You've been putting money in your pocket for the last six months, the last year. You have experience. You worked at a major company. Now, it looks much better than you just coming in out of nowhere and be like, hey, man, what was your last job? Man, I was an Uber driver. Man, I was doing deliveries for a cart. You know, I was doing this, this, and that. Man, I worked at Amazon. Yeah, but not Amazon. I, I worked at Amazon, you know, the warehouse, packaging, you know, deliveries and this, this, and that. Like, it's a big difference. Or, hey, I worked as an accountant. What does that have to do with development? And you want a hundred something thousand dollar job? You know what I'm saying? Like, it don't, it don't match up, right? So when you do this the right way, you can get results, but you have to go in and look at this as a strategy. You're not going to school for four years, okay? You're not getting a, a college degree, right? That's an advantage that you have. So now what you got to do is you're going to say, well, this year I'm going to come in, get an entry level job, work at a major company, and then continue learning the next skills that I need to be able to get the bigger roles, maybe start studying lead code so I could go in and prepare for those type of interviews, et cetera. And now by the time you got a year, a year and a half, 
you now are prepared for the bigger roles and you have experience. A lot of times people think that experience just means like, well, I got to be a software engineer with the title of software engineer. If you worked with software, if you worked with development, if you worked in a team, all of that also counts as experience. If you worked at a major company, right, that counts as experience. It's much easier for a guy to go in and say, hey, I worked at Disney and I was a associate web producer and get a job at, I don't know, at Bloomberg as a front-end developer, because guess what? Disney is a company that holds weight. You was already working in a team environment. Now you're just going in and basically going into a bigger role with more complex uh, situations and, and more skills. But guess what? You have been preparing yourself for that. And now you have the experience that they're asking for, right? So again, this is how you do it. Now, for anybody that's watching this and wondering like, hey, how do I get started? How do I do this? How do I learn the skills? How do I go in and, and actually jump into this path? Come check out Coding Face, all right? Come check out Coding Face. This is a platform that I built specifically for helping people get into the tech industry, okay? We basically do it step by step. We hold your hand through the whole process. You could come in, check out the platform. A lot of our students have gotten hired in a lot of major companies, right? We focus on getting you your first job, anywhere from 65 to 85K. We don't have to bullshit you. We literally tell you the truth. It's 65 to 85K. I'm not trying to get you a $150,000 job. I'm trying to get you your first job. Okay, and these are the jobs that's going to help you go in and get that one hundred fifty thousand dollar job. But you have to go in and get in the industry. Again, you could check this out. Right. We focus on Shopify development, email development, full stack. Um, also, too. Again, we focus on things like content management, web producing. Right. All of those things. Those are the things that we focus on on codingphase.com. You could come check out the platform, all right? But again, if you wanna get results, you have to start looking at this as a strategy, right? You wanna go the long way, wait until somebody gives you a chance and somebody finds you somewhere and finally they give you a job and you spend a year and a half, two years out here trying to get in, or do you say, hey, let me go in, spend a couple of months. Some of you guys are ready to go. All you need to do is just pretty much get that touch up on your portfolio, create a, uh, the right projects for you to get this type of jobs. And y'all don't really have to learn a lot of the technical things, right? Again, we do help people who are coming from zero, but a lot of you guys already got a lot of knowledge. All y'all need to do is repackage yourself for these type of roles and understand what the job consists of. And that's it.